Hi, Pug Owned here. I create pets in The Sims 4. Welcome to my channel. I am passionate about animals and really wanted to bring that to my game experience. The first pet I made was my real dog, Bonnie, the Wonder Dog, a blue healer, also known as the Australian Cattle Dog. Uh, sorry, I'm stumbling because I'm a bit nervous. And But from there, it sort of became an obsession with bringing more realistic looking pets into my game. I started making members of the large cat family and I was using the dog model because I thought that reflected the true size of them more. Uh, but then when I would play them, their barking kind of freaked me out. So I progressed to creating the cats onto cat size models. A lot smaller than the real thing, but I feel more realistic and really, really cute. Uh, I've made a variety of pets, a pygmy hippo, a horse that is really terrifying because it barks, and uh, a koala that's got really small pointy teeth, a deer that pants like a dog because it is a dog, and quite a few cat-sized tigers, servals, lynxes, so on. A lot of people have asked me how I make them, so I thought I would put up some videos of the process, starting with my newest pet, the Amur Leopard. I really hope that it gives you a good overview of my process. I sped it up a whole lot, uh, because watching me paint a pet for 20 hours would be like watching paint dry. This is my first time making a video, so please forgive me any mistakes and nervousness. I would love to make more videos if you're interested and perhaps you could tell me what you'd like to see. Okay, so I don't really pick a specific breed for the pet I'm creating. I start with whatever creator sim gives me. I then turn them all white and then model the base shape to resemble the animal that I want to make. This really does involve a whole lot of pulling and pushing back and forth between photos that I select and use as a reference. I map out what I feel are the features of the animal. I make lots of mistakes during this stage. It can be frustrating and involves an embarrassingly large number of cups of teas and breaks where I walk Bonnie and think through my process how to get the look I want. I upload my pets to The Sims 4 Gallery. I include information about the animal I've created and really appreciate that people seem to like them as much as I like creating them. Enough of my ramblings, I really need a cup of tea now. And I'll be back towards the end of the video with some interesting facts about the Amur Leopard. Enjoy.
The Amur leopard, the Panthera pardus orientalis, is a leopard subspecies native to the Pramorai region of southeastern Russia and northern China. It is listed as critically endangered on the IUCN red list. The Amur leopard is a solitary animal. They start hunting shortly before sunset and they are active again in the early mornings. During the day they rest and hide in caves or dense thickets. Now, in the year 2000, there were only 30 known individuals left in the wild, but due to a massive conservation effort, the numbers have now grown to 103. They are the second most endangered of the big cats. To lose this beautiful animal would be such a tragedy. I hope that by me including them in The Sims, as small a role as it is, raises some awareness and introduces people to this marvellous animal. Thank you.